The new auto toy store is just that, an adult superstore for exotic cars. The exotic car selection here is out of this world, plus custom motorcycles, trucks, and unique artwork, including that of local artist, Transparent. Hey, lover. Hey. What's happening? How's it going? Good to see you, baby. Great to see you guys. Tell her a little bit about what you guys do here. Oh, yes, and I was seeing the cars, so if the party's anything like the cars, it's gonna be super hot. Exotic cars, luxury cars, super cars. We do monster trucks, crazy custom stuff. So anything that's not your average car that you'll see on the road, we do it. And we do in-house financing. We have a leasing company. From Rolls to Bentleys, Ferraris, Lambos, McLarens, and so much more, you gotta see it to believe it. All sorts of good stuff. Cool. Awesome. And what do you, you guys throw these awesome parties here. What are we doing tonight? Uh, tonight we're having dinner with the Dining Divas. It's gonna yes. be a blast. <laughs> We've got Ciro from the Mob Kings here. We've got Nicole from Tooth Fairy Mobile. My wife. Hey. Absolutely. Uh, well, take me yeah. for a drink. What are we waiting for? Let's, get a drink. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> when I heard Jonathan Frank was throwing one of his famous parties, I knew I had to be there. What's up, bartender? Hey, ladies. Hello. How are you? How so are you? Jonathan sent us over here and said you make the best cocktails in the Southeast. Yes, yes, yeah. I do. There's a key to that, though, actually. It's this Organica vodka. Ooh, I love the bottle. It is beautiful. Yes. It's very like cool. curly, and it has that tiger. Yeah. I'm going to tell you about the tiger first, actually. The tiger is a Siberian tiger, and it's endangered because the water that is sourced in this vodka comes from the most ancient lake in the world. It's the oldest and the deepest lake, and it's called Lake Bacall. It couldn't have come from a better source. It's actually uh, known as the Galapagos Islands of Russia. This Organica Life, uh, they use the Saigon Dahlia, a leaf extract. The people that live there in the region, they use that instead of coffee. They, so it's uh, gonna give us a little bit of an energy boost? It might give you a little bit of an energy boost. <laughs> wow, it I'm might. ready for that. <laughs> We're actually gonna make with this just a, a luxury martini because it's such an amazing product. This one, the Organica Original, uh, this one actually has Siberian Larch, one of the most powerful antioxidants in the world. So if you two want to continue looking beautiful, this would I be... I know, uh, I need that. Can I just do like vodka, like face masks? <laughs> that would work. That would, I think would rub it in, yeah. From top-notch ingredients from the Siberian rainforest to giving back to save the tigers, there's absolutely no vodka on the market like this. But instead of instead of making a face mask, why don't we make some drinks? All right, I'm let's make some drinks. That. I'm ready for that. What are uh, you making us today? A Miami sunset. Look at Whoa. that fancy handwork. What? <laughs> I like my vodka shaken. <laughs> and stirred. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey! A little bit of fresh lime juice. Some guava. Ooh, I love guava. Of course, we gotta shake it up. <laughs> and the top of a little bit of soda water here. And we're gonna have our Organica Miami Sunset. Beautiful. It's a nice color. Flamingo color. There you are, ladies. Sweet. Thank you. And now I'm going to prepare to for you honest. the luxury martini that I was speaking of using the Organica Life. No, this is definitely it's smooth, it's just refreshing. Like a natural juice. <laughs> Trying to keep up here. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to learn those tricks? It's my first day. I came to buy a car and they were like, let's go make some drinks over there. <laughs> and just a dash of orange bitters to be specific. And we're going to stir that around. Double O seven is right here, so we're not going to shake it. It's <laughs> from Russia. This is more KGB, so I'm going to go with the opposite and stir it. I can breathe now. <laughs> that was going down for real. <laughs> That's a very clean martini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super yeah. clean. So smooth. It's can... dangerous. That's what it is. Dangerously good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this was delicious. What was your favorite? Oh. My favorite was the guava because I, I love the Miami kick, the Miami flavor in it. But they were both great. Yeah, I'm all about the martinis. All but right. they were <laughs> both good. So did a switcheroo that. there. You're both well, thank you Amazing. for your awesome skills and entertainment, and we're ready to go eat now. Yes. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Chef Adrian is a culinary icon and a pioneer of the farm to table movement in South Florida. Adrian! Hey guys. Hi! Hi, Chef! How I'm Christine! Are you? Nice, nice to meet you! Nice to meet you! So, Jonathan told me you were going to be here cooking.
looking for his extravagant party and I was like, oh my gosh, we gotta come see. Yes. Yes. Today I've made for you guys these coconut milk, well spicy coconut milk marinated chicken thighs. Chef Adrian's spin on a tropical chicken dish is exactly what a hot day in South Florida needed. We have a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of chili paste with a little bit of brown sugar and citrus to brighten up the dish. It's maximum flavor. Yes, <laughs> I love it. So talk about this maximum flavor. I hear this as your tagline a lot. Yeah. I like to create food experiences that leave a lasting impression on you. So a memory, which then creates a craving. So that's how you get repeat guests. Maximum flavor is when you activate all parts of your palate. So if a dish touches your salty sense, your sweet, spicy, sour, bitter, umami, all of those, it sends endorphins to your brain, and then you're like, oh my God, that was delicious. I'm happy now, I'm satisfied. These are the dishes that I do at the restaurant, um, part of my cookbooks as well, because I, I like people to cook just like me at home. And speaking about your cookbooks, <laughs> you're on your fifth and sixth cookbook yeah. that just came out. The A-list is 100 of, of my finest recipes, so whether it came from a competition or inspiration from a trip or just favorites from customers at the restaurant. We initially started with one cookbook, but it got so big that we ended up with two volumes. Now, can I cook these recipes, or are they like really difficult? None are difficult. Okay. That's the whole thing. <laughs> I want you to go home, open that book, shop for the recipes, or, or you know, get them delivered to your house, but easily. And I don't want you to be in the kitchen for hours and hours. I want you to have time to party and enjoy your friends. At the end of the day, you cook something up really easy with maximum flavor, but you had time to enjoy yourself. You have these dark dining events here in South Florida. We blindfold our guests for an all-themed out night at the restaurant, and it's about five to six courses, but I love that every guest gets to find out something that they never knew about themselves. When food has maximum flavor, you don't even need to see it. You know where I remember you from? I used to watch you on Chopped on Food oh. Network, and I loved you on that. <laughs> oh yeah, that was Chopped. an experience. Chopped was awesome. You have a hundred cameras in front of you. You're cooking, and then they tell you, "Do it over, do it over." Um, at the end, you're kind of like you're you're in, you're waiting, like it's like a time bomb to see who's on the chopping block. So it's as suspenseful for the contestant as it is for the viewer at home. I'm hungry. I'm yes. ready to eat, and we are so glad that we came up here and met you. Oh and my we're gosh. ready to go get back to this party. Yes. Thank you for, yes. for teaching us about this food. Oh, no. Thank you. And we Pick up your books. Where can I get your cookbook from? Anywhere where books are sold. Oh, thank you so much for joining us, Ciro. It's so nice you're in town and you could make it to Jonathan's party. It's great to be here. Thank <laughs> yes. you. I've thank heard you. so much about the legendary Mob King, so it's awesome to have you here live and direct with us. Well, thank you. Yes. <laughs> We're working on being legendary. Yes. I think you're doing a pretty good job so far. Yep, it's looking pretty. But he has many more credits, acknowledgments, and exciting projects coming up, which we can't wait to hear about. So you've had a lot of cool projects on the table. I, I saw do. you were doing some new movies. I just finished shooting Silent Partners based on the true story of a very close and personal uh, family member of mine, Fat Dave Icavetti, who was a Gambino uh, captain down here for 40 years. Spent 60 years in the life, as they call it. Stars a lot of great people. James Russo, who was in Django Unchained, and Donnie Brasco. Uh, Gary Pastore, who plays Matty the Horse on uh, HBO's The Deuce. Anthony Caron from 30 different movies. That's my guy right there. Joey D'Onofrio, Bronx Tale, you know, Goodfellas. So my good friend Ronnie Marmo, who stars as Lenny Bruce right now off Broadway. He's in it as well. And Mike Marino, Make America Italian Again. My partner <laughs> comedian, he's a great guy as well. Yeah, so a lot of big names, but now let's talk about your story, because you're, you're a big name yourself. Thank you. You have a very interesting and unique story of how you became known as the, the Mop King. King. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of time because of the fact that I may have been associated with certain entities. And uh, while I was sitting there, I decided to maybe do something about it when I got out. So we put together this concept between my guy, Jokes Yanez, who's an Emmy Award winner, my partner with uh, Cyril DiPaggio Productions and Anthony Caron that I mentioned. And um, we decided to do the Mop King based loosely on my life. We filmed five webisodes. We won, I won Best Actor and Best Web Series, and it got picked up by Wanda Halicon and um, New Street Pictures. We're filming in Pinewood Studios, which is like the most prestigious studio in Europe. It's where they do the Harry Potter franchise, Star Wars franchise, and James Bond franchise, and now the Mob King's coming. It's 12 guaranteed episodes, $36 million budget. It's kind of knocking it out of the park. 
So. Wow. I'm just waiting for my cameo cereal, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got it, you got it. The mob queen right here. I don't want no trouble with any of you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I want no trouble here. I'm here to eat and forget about it. That's right. I can't wait to eat. It looks beautiful. Yeah. And, and then if, after we eat, we can go take a tour of the uh, of the toy store. Have you got oh, a chance sure. to look around a little bit? Please, I want to talk this guy into letting me have a couple of these cars for a ah, <laughs> For the Mob King series? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we have... No, and, and in all seriousness, this place is... Is dope. Hey, it dope. Don't, it don't get no better than, uh, <laughs> yeah. than the toy store. I, mean, yeah. I, I was the like, cars. he's the perfect person to come hang out with us at this, mm -hmm. at this restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I know the cars are dinner. incredible. The food and, of course, organic vodka, which you're gonna love these cocktails. Well, as I well. actually just uh, tried some of that organic uh, stuff over there. I'm All right, yes. South Florida's Listen, uh, finest. Let's eat. Yes. Let's eat. <laughs> Let's do this. Jonathan and Nicole were outstanding hosts. Plus, what an influential group of guests as well. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much for having us at this wonderful dinner party. And thank you, Luca, for the organic vodka okay. and everybody for being here. Cheers to Ciro and all of his Cheers. new productions. Salud. Salarovia. Salarovia. That's in Russia. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. Cheers. Salud. Woo. Good stuff. <laughs>